What's up guys, Steve Conroy with Lug Away Junk Removal and Demolition. Good morning, good Tuesday morning, 6.58, about to get at it. 20 degrees to start, looks like we got some sunrise over there. Sun might pop out today, hopefully it does. Um, this video is going to be a little bit different than the other videos I've been putting out recently for you guys. All those day in the lifes, um, you guys seem to like them a lot. This is going to be another day in the life, but there's a big, big difference. What that difference is, is today is a slow, slow day. These things happen. There's nothing you can do about them. It's just a slow day. Um, we've been cranking out jobs the last month, uh, like day in and day out, making money hand over fist, but these slow days happen. I mean, we're in the week between Christmas and New Year's, uh, so that you know can affect it. Um, just holiday time, a lot of people have work off. You'd think that they're home, but maybe they're spending time with family. I don't know what it is. I don't wrap my, I don't, I don't get lost in uh, in that anymore. I do not let it affect me. It just is what it is. It's not like when I woke up today. It's like. Up, oh, you suck, Steve. So we're just not going to give you any business. It just is what it is. So on the list today, we got to dump the trailer at some point. We'll probably do that first thing in the morning because we offloaded yesterday's um, final load into that because it was Monday. Um, we got some yard waste to pick up for a repeat customer. We do a bunch of these for him um, before the winter season. We have a full truck of construction debris over in Sherborne and. We have a pickup we're gonna do for a guy we did yesterday. We did two trucks for him yesterday, um, and we're gonna go back for more today. He's cleaning out his parents' house, moved to assisted living. Um, and then it's kind of up in the air after that. We just have those three jobs. There's no way that's gonna take us maybe till like, I don't know, 11, 11.30. We'll probably be finished up. Um, so any work that we get that comes in, uh, we, we will take on, um, but Stuff like this happens. So without further ado, oh, wait a second. So this New England weather is crazy. Five days ago, we had like a foot and a half, a little less than a foot and a half of snow on the ground. Um, there's nothing. There's nothing anywhere around here. Anywhere, anywhere. There's some up there, but it's because it was all plowed in. Um, there's nothing. It's going to be like 50 today. So I don't know if I should use... The old intro when it was sunny out or the new intro with the winter in it. So without further ado, let's dive in. Did that not work? Let's dive in. Nothing? Let's dive in. video on how to deal with this here. Dealt with. All right guys, so Connor's gonna sweep that area up. We got kids toys making crazy sounds over there. This is what the truck looks like. Really not that much stuff. I didn't count. I think there's probably 30 bags. Um, this is for a repeat customer. We do this for this guy all the time. So we're gonna sweep all this stuff together, uh, rake that up real quick for him. And he did not mention this stuff here, but we're gonna grab it anyways, cause I know that he would probably want it gone. Um, again, repeat customer, we take care of these people. We don't always take trash when we're doing yard ways. Um, if we were doing a bunch of yard waste runs in this truck, we wouldn't be taking any trash because you got to separate it obviously and it becomes a nightmare. Um, so we're gonna button up this job and on to the next one. All right guys, so a little fishy. Usually we're dumping over there. Uh, residents dump here 
all the time so they have this whole thing blocked off um, so what they do is they have the residents back up here and throw the leaves off um, to land here obviously uh, we're not doing that because <laughs> we have a dump truck so uh, I just pulled in this lane here uh, we're gonna dump this and uh, get on with our lives all right guys on our way to gas this bad boy up they hit us with the minimum for that so that uh, that dump was 25 bucks um, we are going to go gas this bad boy up and head on over to Sherborne for the construction debris and box job All right, guys, we are over in Sherborne taking some. So these paint cans we actually can take because those are dry. So just throw them in? Yeah, I wouldn't throw them, but I don't know how dry they actually are, but they're pretty dry, dry enough to take. Um, so we're gonna take all this, all this stuff here. She wants to keep this piece and these two. They're doing some renovations in here. So we'll fill that construction debris up first, and then we're going to grab some of these boxes, empty boxes. Should be able <clears throat> to fit all of this in the truck as long as we can break down all those boxes. Um, so we'll start loading that stuff up and we'll take it from there. All right, guys, we are about done with that pile here. I just wanted to show you, anytime you're doing this type of stuff, construction debris, you're gonna find this. And here, ooh, someone was drinking on the job. Tile, all tile, adhesive, all that crap. This bag is like, probably like 75 pounds. Yeah, it's pretty heavy, so. You got to figure out, are you going to add on a little bit uh, for that? For this, since this is the one bag that we found, and this bucket of tile, it's really not going to uh, make that much of a difference. Um, so I'm not going to tag anything on. Uh, we are going to the dump to check weight on this anyway. So if it does go overweight, um, she'll be paying, you know, the prorated um, amount. So uh, we'll finish up this garage here, head into the back, get that cardboard, and see how long it'll take. All right, guys, there is the full load. Connor's sweeping up here. Um, so we found these underneath all the piles. She didn't mention anything about them, but kind of need to just use your common sense. These are just balusters. Um, you're not gonna wanna throw that stuff away because your customer's gonna be pretty pissed at you if you throw all that away. So there she is again. We are finished sweeping this thing up. Head to the dump, see how much this thing costs us. All right, guys, leaving now on our way to the dump. Um, got here at 9. It is 9.45 right now. Full truck, 40, probably less than 45 minutes. We were chatting with the, uh, with the contractor there. So we'll hit the dump and see how much this bad boy weighs. Anytime we think that anything might fly out of the sides, we always put some extra bungees on there, just in case. We can open that. We just need to be very careful that the styrofoam doesn't fly out. It might be easier just to hop up and throw the cardboard over and dump out the styrofoam, but we can open that and take our tools out. Thank you.
right guys, I already put this slip away. That bad boy weighed in at 11.740, we weighed out at 9.880 for a net weight of 18.60, 130 bucks. Nice and easy. Um, like I said before this morning, uh, we weren't fully booked today, so things are kind of up in the air at this point. We're gonna shoot by a guy's house in Needham. We did uh, two pickups for him yesterday. Um, he's got some extra stuff he needs for us before he uh, flies back to, I think, Nashville or something. Uh, so we'll go take care of that and see where the day takes us. All right, guys, we are here in Needham. We just pulled stuff from back there. All this crap, nothing left? Uh, I, mean, I didn't walk inside, but. Oh, no, it's, it's yeah. As long as there's nothing uh, back outside. So we'll load this up, get on with the day. All right, guys, we are back at the shop. Um, we got about, I don't know, probably like 30, 45 minutes to kill um, before we go out and give a quote to a customer in Needham who just contacted us um, wants a swing set removed. Um, so I told her that we had enough time today. We come by, give her the price. If she wants it done, we'll do it on the spot. Uh, so in the meantime, rain cleaned this thing up pretty nice, but the back here was looking extra dusty. And that sawdust from the construction debris job got all over the place. So we're gonna clean this up a little bit in the, uh, in the meantime, and then pop on over and uh, give that quote, see if we can't chop up a swing set. All right, guys, she's looking good. Spick and span. Uh, so we're gonna roll on over to Needham. Uh, we gotta do, uh, might wanna load this stuff in. To the dump or the trailer? Uh, to the truck and we'll just swing it by the dump. So we got ACs, TVs back here, a printer. We can go, all this stuff can be recycled. You always find crap to do. All right guys, update. We are at the dump getting rid of that stuff that we had loaded in that we <clears throat> offloaded yesterday. Um, so we're getting rid of that stuff now, all recycling, which is good. Um, the woman that we we're gonna go do the swing set for, I had her send me a picture. It's actually a really, really uh, nice swing set. It's in decent shape. So I, I contacted a buddy of mine. Um, <clears throat> he's gonna actually go and disassemble it and pick it up uh, for his daughter. So uh, it's a win-win for them. They don't have to pay to get rid of it. And my buddy gets a swing set. Um, no extra quiche for us, us today though. So uh, we're gonna get rid of this stuff. And that's kind of it for the day, guys. I mean, it's 12 o'clock. Um, we're probably gonna go back to the shop, um, organize some stuff up a little bit because there's kind of tools all over the place. And then we'll probably just go uh, to some returning customers' houses and drop some yard signs. Um, recent customers that we've done, um, I always let them know before we leave. I say, hey, you know, is it cool if we, you know, come by in a week or two and you know put a put a yard sign out? Only for people that are on. Um, kind of main roads that get a lot of traffic not putting them down side roads or anything but something to kill some time uh and uh, drum up some business but it's the it's the week uh after christmas so we got two more days till new year's um <clears throat> tomorrow's list is full thursdays is packed uh dumps closed on friday uh for new year's so uh we'll kind of see where this uh, end of the day takes us once we get out of here and we finish up um i'll talk numbers with you guys as well uh, all right guys 1224 just got back from the dump um, so we're calling it um, Connor's in the shop now he's just moving some stuff around organizing stuff um, there's a lot more we need to do in there to officially have that place set up we've just been so busy uh, we don't really have time to do that uh, we've just kind of been like ransacking the place for tools when we need them and just kind of plopping them down in front of that workbench um, so we're kind of organizing stuff in there, making it look a little a little more neat. Still have a bunch of work to do in there. Um, and then he's just going to go off, and uh, I gave him four houses to do on the way um, back to the town that he lives in. Uh, he's going to take those signs with him. Uh, I'm going to probably do four or five um, around this area and maybe some further out. Um, 
I don't know, a couple of towns we don't often service, but we've done some work there before, like the Holliston um, job uh, that I, uh, I think that's in two of the videos I, I recently did. Uh, but I wanted to talk about numbers today. So we'll, we'll say we finished up at 1230. It's 1225. We got here at seven. Um, so what is that? Five hours? Four and a half hours, five hours, whatever. Um, so dump fees wise, well, let's, let's rile up the sales here. So we did fourteen twenty five in sales. Um, there was a small job that we didn't film. Um, it was like a hundred bucks. We grabbed the dresser off the side of the road. Some lady wanted us to do it. So, um, but fourteen twenty five in sales minus the 130 dump fee. Minus the minimum for the yard waste. And that stuff that we recycled over there, I'm not going to include because that was from another um, another day. So 1270 with dump fees and we'll do minus 600 for the expenses um, for the day. So left with 670 as a profit for today. So pretty low number compared to the other videos I've put out in the last two weeks. Um, Guys, this stuff happens. This is part of the business. Like I said before, this is the week after Christmas and before New Year's. Um, so last year, I looked at um, my spreadsheet for last year, and we were not really busy at all. We had scattered jobs um, kind of throughout the week. So the fact that we're, you know, super busy this week besides today, I mean, three hours shy of a full day, um, I'll take that. But you can't you can't bog uh, uh, sorry you can't let this stuff bog you down. Um, there's uh, there's nothing you can do about it. You can't force people to throw stuff out, um, especially around like holiday times. Like you know, people might still have family over. I know it's you know during COVID and everything, but you know they people might be hurting. Maybe they don't have money to spend after the holidays. There's a lot of factors that go into it, but what you can't do is is start scrambling and saying, "Well, what's going to happen? Like my business is failing. I only made you know five six hundred bucks today profit. Like this is crazy." It it all it all comes back around. Use this time, as everyone says, use this time to, you know, get up on marketing, get up on advertising. You know, we're organizing a little bit in there. Um, just you just have to keep yourself busy. Honestly, drive your truck around. If you got billboards on the sides like mine, just drive your truck around in circles. Go figure out a route that you want to do through every service, uh, every town you service, and drive that one route one way, and then spin around and drive back and. I don't know, do it four or five times if you want. If you got a whole day and nothing to do, what's it going to cost you? Like 30, 40 bucks in gas, maybe, if you end up like using a full tank of gas to do that. Um, I filled this thing up today. It was like 65 bucks. So, um, so that's that for today. Uh, tomorrow, full schedule. Thursday, full schedule. No work on Friday. Um, but this is the kind of uh, stuff that can happen guys. You know, we I started this morning Understanding that We weren't going to have a full day. I thought that um, When the swing set came in I was like, oh wow, this is great Like, you know, we'll be able to you know finish up the day with that make some extra money um, But you know that fell through and you know, it is what it is There's nothing you can do about it and you just got to keep your head up um, the business is there. It's always going to come. This is the slow season anyways. So you got to just wrap your head around that and uh, you can't beat yourself up about it. So if you've been following the channel, you've been interacting with me through the comments, I want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're about to be monetized. I think in like 50 hours more of watch time. And I think we need like, I don't know, like 30, 25 or 30 more subscribers. And, uh, and then we get monetized. So that's awesome, guys. I didn't think that this was going to happen. I didn't start the YouTube channel to do that. I just started it because people were reaching out to me on Instagram, and I couldn't keep up with it. So I just kept saying, go look at my YouTube page. Go look at my YouTube page. I'll answer all your questions. Um, so thank you very much, guys. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Um, hit the like button, comment on all the videos. I get back to everyone. Um, and if I ask you to contact me through Instagram or email, it's because uh, it's just a long conversation we need to have. And I've got on some calls with some of you guys as well. Um, just a lot easier than, you know, typing out a, uh, an essay in, uh, in a YouTube comment. Um, so I'm going to get back at it, uh, get these yard signs out, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.